Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle but I mostly talk about business and investments. Today, I'm shooting from lovely Palawan. As shared in one of my first videos ever, escaping the 9 to 5 and living party in Palawan was part of my escape plan from corporate world. And yes, I wanted to clarify that. Some people say, oh, don't you have a resort? Well, when I think of a resort, I think of a pool. I think of nice piña coladas by the water. Aww. Fortunately, guys, this is my resort, so to speak. Not to belittle it, but it's really just a hut. Uh, something for backpackers. Anyway, this is not what we'll cover in this video. It's been a while since I've talked about business in general in one of my videos. I started before with a lot of videos about how to escape your 9 to 5. And I'm looking to resume that, doing my interviews with friends, acquaintances who have done it. But before we resume that series formally, in today's video, what I wanted to cover would be three things that nobody actually tells you when you are going to be starting a business and leaving your corporate job. I'm sharing this perhaps as a warning, something that you may want to think about before really making that big leap. If you already have a business started and you are looking to make the move from corporate to being a full-time entrepreneur, this first thing is that when you are getting your business started, it's very hard to get yourself a loan. Especially for the bigger types of loans, may it be a housing loan or a car loan or perhaps it's even a smaller loan, an uncollateralized loan such as a personal loan or a credit card that you haven't gotten. But if you are looking to leave the corporate world and you are looking to avail of these, I would really advise you to take on your loans during your employment period. Because trust me, it doesn't get any easier when you are already in business for yourself. When you are just getting your business started, perhaps you don't have a lot of records or um, proof of employment under your new setup. Once you get a lot of the documents in place, your regular earnings, your proper registration, perhaps your dividends, maybe it gets easier to do a loan. But initially, banks take a very traditional route on assessing how safe your source of income would be. So the first advice here would be, again, if you are still employed, do make the most of the available loans at your disposal um, when you're employed. It comes easy. You get it from your HR, you get all the proof of income and so on and so forth and your tenure in that company. But once you're on your own, hey, you're pretty much on your own, man. And this is something that I wish somebody actually told me before I left employment. Um, no regrets, but um, this is something that could have been helpful. And I guess tip number two here would be that your spending would also change in light of this. So you're going to be needing to purchase out of cash rather than a loan because again, if you don't qualify for a loan, you must have had that stack of cash stashed somewhere. Your lifestyle will definitely take a change, at least initially, and you must be ready for that. So let's move on to number two. There's a lot of talk about leaving the nine to five, about not working eight, nine hours per day. And the truth is, when you are going into business for yourself, you will no longer work those eight or nine hours. Because the truth is, you're gonna be working 24 hours. Maybe that's an exaggeration. None of us can work 24 hours. But the thing is, when you are in business for yourself, you are pretty much on standby round the clock. Of course, this varies whatever business that you get into. But generally, when you become a business owner, and especially again at the start, you are working round the clock because your mind is really thinking about the different things, planning. You're not really just thinking about the operations on hand. You are not just being on a defensive level, but you are really looking for new opportunities, how to do things more efficiently, how to run things better. You're going to be thinking about your cash flow, people management, and so on and so forth. Again, you do leave the 9 to 5, but you are pretty much on standby the rest of the day. So with this in mind, if you are looking to be in business for yourself, the advice that I could give would be really starting uh, a sense of discipline. You know, no one's gonna tell you when you should eat, when you should take breaks, when you should exercise, or when you should have fun. Having a good personal business is 
also about your personal well-being. So you are going to have to be able to manage how much you obsess about the business on one hand and the other would be how much you also take care of yourself. No one's watching you on the clock anymore and no one's asking for specific productivity or results that you need to turn in via email or reports or presentations whatsoever. Your only output is yourself, your earnings, and you're gonna have to be very disciplined with that. And as much as it's a joke that you would work 24 hours, in many ways, again, you are on standby and you can't fully remove yourself from the business in the same way that it was easy for you to remove yourself from the office. And to wrap this video up, we move to number three. So this third thing about being an entrepreneur, being in business for yourself is that unfortunately, it's not always gonna be about the money. I know that sounds heartbreaking. Many of us actually want to leave our jobs because of better pay, better opportunities that businesses will give us. But again, to be able to graduate into that level of efficiency, of really seeking many opportunities, it takes a lot of discipline. And for many of us who are just scrambling, getting our business started, that promise of more money won't come right away. So whether you are looking to franchise or maybe you are looking to partner up, putting up a new concept, whatever it is, may it be a store, a restaurant, a small construction business or whatsoever, the money that comes in will not be as easy as that. Most of the time, you are having to reinvest a lot of the money that you earned. It's not like when you get paid on payday, when you're employed, um, that's pretty much yours to spend or yours to save. But being in business, a lot of the money that comes in, especially at the start, would be something that you would have to reinvest. So this is what I mean that it will not always be about the money. And unfortunately too, sometimes the money is not guaranteed even after a long period because that's the whole challenge. That's the whole thing with business is that nothing is guaranteed. You may not even earn more than what you were earning from your salary before. But even as I'm telling you that being in business for yourself may not have financial rewards right away or maybe even after a long time. Being in business for yourself is rewarding in many, many aspects. You have a flexible time. You have time that you can spend with your loved ones, your family. You have the time to commute, to transport yourself, not during rush hour. And for me, that is such a big thing already. And trust me, that in itself is already rewarding. And other than time, of course, you have yourself as your own boss. And again, that may be challenging. That may actually frighten you. But not having to report to anyone uh, routinely and doing all these uh, performance reviews. If you like that kind of independence, then being in business might be for you. I myself was never really motivated about who was above me and I think nothing fits me better than being in business. So you have that, your time, your independence. And also one of the great things that you have would be the creativity to put out something, to put out a product, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be a sexy product. I think some of us have that connotation that being in business would be a store or a restaurant. Uh, being in business could be in the service industry. Perhaps it's something that we don't even come across, such as maybe it's a B2B service, maybe it's doing pest control, I don't know. One of the values of being in business is really putting something together, creating that product, and putting it out there and seeing that your customer may like it. And I'm not talking about here creativity in the artistic sense. Um, I'm just talking about, you know, you putting your resources, your know-how together and being able to convince someone and make that someone happy because you've come out with a compelling product. So there is a sense of fulfillment in that. So really, that's about it. Those are the three things that no one tells you about being in a business for yourself. Again, if you are planning, take heed and really think about this. Again, number one would be your opportunities to get a loan from the banks would actually dwindle if even there. Number two, you are practically going to be working around the clock regardless of what business it is, especially at the start. And number three would be that even if you may be restrained in terms of finances, being in business is rewarding in sense of time, in sense of fulfillment, in sense of independence and creativity. 
Do you have a business that you are looking to put up soon? Are you leaving your job? Are you ready? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy being in business for yourself.